Well, hi everybody and welcome back to Moodle Support Theater. We're continuing with our explanation of the Add an Activity drop-down and we are working on assignments. In this episode, we're going to create an assignment that the students will upload and we're going to choose Uploading a Single File by using the drop-down and choosing upload a single file. Very much as we did the last time, we're going to give this an assignment name. I'm just going to call this Chapter 2. We do need to put some content or a description of that assignment there. I'm going to copy and paste some prepared information. You can type it in just as simply. The problem with copy and pasting, as we mentioned in some of the other videos, you can bring a lot of unnecessary code in from Word. So I do recommend always saving in a plain text setup. After you've got your instructions to the student, come down, select the grade. Again, you have the choice of from 1, scrolling up and down, from 1 to 250 points, credit, no credit, or even giving no grade for the activity. We're going to leave this at a simple 100 points. Now, as this is an online assignment, you have the ability to make it available from a certain date and do by a certain date. I'm going to leave the dates alone because who knows when you'll see this, but my class is at 4 o'clock in the afternoon, so I'm going to select 1600 for my times and uh, make sure it's at both the top and the bottom choice, and it is military time. That can be somewhat confusing. Do you want to prevent late submissions? Notice you can choose yes or no, and in this instance, the student would not be allowed to upload anything after that date and time if you said yes. Do you want to allow resubmitting? Personally, I think this is a good idea. I like to see somebody uh, double check their work, and if they catch an error, it's a good thing to be allowed to resubmit it without having to call and email you in each instance. It's a personal choice and whatever you choose is the correct thing to do. Email to students, email to teachers, generally that gets a resounding no thank you. Maximum size, this is an important one. I like to give the maximum allowable. Notice in the drop down we can go from 10 kilobytes up to 256 megabytes. I give the maximum because it seems no matter what you give, somebody needs a little bit more. This way, you're allowing the maximum and you don't have any problems with it. There are times when it's course specific requirements. For example, your final paper may not exceed uh, 50 kilobytes, in which case, feel free to use the choice. Group mode, we'll talk about that in other informational videos. Visible, are you going to see it or not? Some people like to have it hidden while they're working on it and creating it. The big problem I come across when I do it, I forget to make it visible. Don't put any ID number in there, please. And grade category, these are things you're going to pick. I'm going to call this a participation item and then choose save and return to course. As we look at the assignment section in the activities box in the lower left hand corner, now we have another item. It says chapter 2. It tells us it's uploading a single file, the due date, and when I click on chapter 2, the name of the assignment, there is not only my available and due information, but what is expected in the assignment. And as previously in the last uh, presentation, you can click on Attempts Made and you will see the student and have an opportunity to apply the grade. Now let's go back by going, coming to the breadcrumbs at the top in the upper left hand corner and click the word Assignment where it says no attempts have been made when you are uploading a single file it will actually count them down for you. One attempt, two attempts, three attempts, right up to the total number of papers submitted before it's cut off. So this gives you a good indication of participation when the students are turning in the information. And the student, right there at the very right hand side, will see in their individual grade book what grade is given. More information on grading and the grade book in the videos on that section. Okay, let's come back to the main page. We've got uh, 
more activities to work on. As we use our drop down, we see online text is our next one. Quite frankly, I am not a big fan of this, and we'll talk about that and advanced uploading of files in our next video. If you need help between now and then, give us a call here at Moodle Support. We're in Library 315, and the number is 3633. Remember, we're here to help.